Hey everybody, what the heck is going on? My name is Usman and today we got a lot of stuff to talk about. There are a lot of glitches happening in zombies, which is very interesting to why they are happening in zombies as we're just getting only new weapons in multiplayer. We got some more DLC 5 hints and also one more hint by Glitching Queen and of course new DLC weapons for Black Ops 3, they are here and we're just gonna get right into it. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We do daily videos and live streams, so definitely consider subscribing for more. But first of all, we got a we got new DLC weapons for Black Ops 3. The Galil, which is my favorite zombies gun in Black Ops 1 and 2, it's finally here in Black Ops 3. As well, we got the ballistic knife, which is very awesome. And I don't know about you guys, but all of the uh, all of these uh, DLC weapons seems very suspicious to me. It's just my opinion, and definitely speak your mind uh, and let me know your opinion in the comments below to what you think. But looking back, when we got the FFAR, AK Famas, we, we also got the HD40 as known as the MP40. Uh, I didn't think much because the idea of DLC5 wasn't as alive as it is now, right? So, um, and of course, we got the M16 recently and, and the PPSH, which is just godly. And uh, now Galil and Ballistic Knife. And Ballistic Knife is what sparked this idea. What if DLC5 is real and Treyarch is just giving us old guns from Black Ops 1 and 2 in Black Ops 3 and just remastering them for Black Black Ops 3 so hey multiplayer guys can have more content and when and if we get DLC 5 we'll, we'll have them in these uh, remaster maps uh, for, for zombies for example the FFAR uh, aka FAMAS was in Black Ops 1 and DLC 5 leak tells us that we will see Moon, Ascension, Mob of the Dead and Origins and of course we got legit uh, remaster loading screens of all of them from Treyarch except for Origins which we supposed to get in the next comic so I'm patiently waiting for that so uh, FFAR AK FAMAS was in Black Ops 1 and Ascension and Moon does hold that and also the, the Galil M16 and Ballistic Knife right even Mob of the Dead and Origins has MP40 so uh, Black Ops 3 HD40 and now Galil uh, I'm, I'm sure you get the idea and I, I'm sure you get my point here and all of it does make a lot of good sense at least to me I'm not sure if it does make sense to you that's why I'm saying speak your mind in the comments below but this is just just food for thought uh, as I could say right now but moving on we have been seeing a lot of glitches happening in Black Ops 3 zombies not in games but in theater mode like when you knife zombies you will pull out the the freaking ray gun uh, you got Alcar as your starting pistol debris are spawning in randomly box weapons has glitched out and my man SPFFA got me in a live stream last night and all about Ruptic found this gun in the box and SPFFA originally found this glitch and the whole point and the argument here is that we have never seen something like this before sure patches can sometimes uh, make the game have more bugs but this is uh, the only uh, time this has been happening uh, that I've seen this happening after we got the new 1.21 update on PS4 in theater mode and the gun that was found in the box was uh, called something like uh, D1T uh, I don't know piercer it, it's supposed to be in the campaign but now it's appearing in the uh, in the box in the mystery box in Black Ops 3 and looking at the gun it seems to me like a LMG uh, kind of like the the one that we have seen in Origins but of course this one is a little different this one we have got in the campaign version of Black Ops 3 and uh, it has a weird stock where we got like a red trigger some like a chainsaw or some shit like that it's supposed to be a grenade launcher and we have seen this popping in uh, the mystery box especially when you get like items like trip mines and whatnot of course they do not appear in normal games but they do appear when you actually go in theater mode which is very interesting and of course with that we got uh, new weapons in multiplayer Galil and Ballistic Knife and of course we have got new weapons in multiplayer in the past but zombies mode wasn't affected but this time it is we had patch notes where they stayed fixed some bugs in zombies so either it's that and uh, we got more bugs or they were trying to set up something and add more content I really hope hope we get new content for zombies soon but it could just be that they were trying to fix some bugs and they added some more bugs it could be just that or they were actually trying to add more content but just more food for thought and more fire uh, or I should say more uh, gasoline pour into fire if you get my point here but now moving on if you guys have missed my last video I would highly encourage you guys to check that out and give it a watch we were talking if glitching queen is teaming up with Activision to bring us teasers for DLC 5 or not and uh, have like a 
uh, like a marketing plan set up with Activision, some shit like that. And yesterday, when I uploaded this video, a couple of hours later, Glitching Queen uploaded a video uh, by the title of uh, "Surprise Update to Black Ops 3 Today: Hidden Content?" Question mark and uh, of course brackets. And uh, Xbox finally explained Black Ops 2 back compatibility delay. As expected, by the end of this video, there was a teaser, and this time it was a little different. There was a link in the video that took us. The link wasn't in description, but was visible in the end of that video that took us to the moon live streams, which is very interesting. Of course, it was over over moon, the real one. Uh, but why is she doing that? And uh, I tried to ask about DLC5 and ask her a question because, as expected, she was on the live stream chat last night and didn't really answer the first time when I asked, but said after nothing is confirmed until you see it yourself. And uh, there was this dude who asked, uh, Hey Queen, I just sold my Xbox last month, should I get a new one? And Queen replied, only if you want to play Vault at War or Black Ops 1 on it. I don't know what to make out of that, uh, but either she was contacted by Activision to not spill the beans and let's mark it up, or let's do a marketing setup, some shit like that, or she was contacted by Activision to not spill the beans and do some sort of marketing setup, I don't know. But sure, this could be a massive troll, but looking at my calendar as of now, it shouldn't be. But let me know what you guys think, feel free to speak your mind in the comment section down below. And definitely give my last video a watch if you want to know more. But if you guys have enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys very freaking soon. Peace out.